Um, definitely transportation, um, financials, and insurance. I mean, um, support systems. Who do they have that they can that you can help in their care that they can go to to talk about what's going on with them? So whether that's an emotional support or a tangible support or or someone who can um, you know help at home those kinds of things. If if someone has a poor support system, maybe they don't have anyone that can help you know, and um, they're low income, they have problems with transportation. Well, you know now they're at even more high risk than someone with you know, even one person or two people that can help. I think it's utilizing our community resources. There's a number of organizations that um, can help with in-home care, that can help with transportation, there's volunteer programs, companion programs. Um, I've utilized a lot of churches in our areas actually. So I mean, it's just utilizing your community to the fullest capacity because um, obviously we don't have all the services or programs um, it, always in-house and so utilizing what's already out there.